Let's go to MVP. All right, so my MVP one through five, I have a new number one, Jalen Hurts, the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. <clears throat> number two, Mahomes. Number three, Burrow. Number four, Josh Allen. Number five, I've moved Justin Jefferson into the top five. Uh, I moved Tua Tongavaloa out of my top five. All right, give me uh, an argument on one of those, Miles Simmons. Well, I don't really disagree with any of your rankings because I would have uh, uh, Jalen Hurts number one as well. The the one that I I guess I would flip is Josh Allen and then Justin Jefferson because I think Justin Jefferson has just elevated his team so high. And at this point, you know, it's not out of the question that he could set a new record in single season receiving yards. And Josh Allen to me, has just created so many turnover plays and or turnover worthy plays, if you want to call it that. And I, I, this is a kind of nitpicking, but I guess this is what we do. Um, but I, I feel like from that perspective, it might be able to flip them. A and I don't know if it's Josh Allen's really playing poorly. I can't really say that because, you know, he does so much, whether it's with his arm, whether it's with his legs and, you know, he's going and he's basically flipping for first downs, which frankly, if I'm Sean McDermott, I don't know if I really want to see that, even <laughs> though I like the fact that you get a first down, it's like, ah, like you are the quarterback and we need you to be able to play, but then you don't want to turn off his competitiveness and things like that. But yeah, I, I think that Josh Allen should be playing maybe even a little bit better than he has. And I guess that's just the high standard of play that I think Josh Allen has set for himself. Um, but to me, he's not necessarily as much of a factor in the MVP race as guys like Jalen Hurts, like Patrick Mahomes. And at this point, Joe Burrow, for a lot of the reasons I just mentioned, is also rising up as well. Jalen Hurts is such an amazing story. I'll always think back yeah. to, I don't know, maybe two months ago when I covered Jacksonville at Philadelphia and after the game got 10 or 15 minutes with Jalen Hurts. I had never met him before. And uh, the one thing that really sticks out, you know how you remember you have a conversation with somebody and you remember one thing and I think I'll remember it for years. Yes. He called his father, who was his high school football coach, called him Coach Hurts. And that says so much about who Jalen Hurts is. It says uh, that he respects the position of coach, even though maybe he might disagree with some play calls. He's always going to respect the coach. And the other thing I remember from that day in Philadelphia is the head coach, Nick Sirianni, telling me that sometimes he looks over on a Tuesday night when they're polishing up the game plan and finishing it up in the coaching offices. And he looks over and there's Jalen Hurts sitting there getting a preview and, and getting a head start on it. It's nine o'clock on a Tuesday night, Jalen Hurts day off. And he'll say, what the hell are you doing here? Go home, go home, <laughs> you know? And I don't know. I think a lot of who Jalen Hurts is can be encapsulated in those two things. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.